hi, hi. <laughs> um, my name is Steph Gardner. I'm from Utah. Um, I grew up here. I was born and raised in Salt Lake. I live in Ogden now. Um, I currently work at Solomon. Um, I'm in the marketing team. I'm the community marketing manager. Um, I work with um, all categories of Solomon, so hiking, alpine, Nordic, and trail running. Um, but mostly trail running is my, my main focus, which is amazing because it's my favorite thing to do. Um, I love my job more than anything ever. Um, I lost my job with Solomon sort of back in like August of last year and I was scared for a few seconds and then they quickly offered me another job, um, which is the one I have now, which is perfect. It's like it was made for me. Um, I've been a massage therapist in the past. I've been a barista. I've been a computer nerd. And I was um, a wilderness guide also for about four years. Um, doing like canyoneering trips and kayaking and mountain biking and stuff too. So I feel like I've done, I have a tendency to like overcorrect. One job will be very like holistic and you know zen and then the next one will be like rappelling into like a 200 foot slot canyon or something and then and then I go the other way again and then I'm like a computer nerd and you know it just kind of bounces around. But um, I feel like my job now has like the best of both worlds where I get to be kind of computer nerdy and I also get to be outside and like meeting people being at events, but then I also kind of manage all of our athletes and ambassadors um, and do a lot of social media stuff. So it's kind of the best of both worlds and I love it. Um, my other hobbies include skydiving. And I like rock climbing a lot. Those are my two things that I love as much as trail running. Um, any kind of like thing where I can combine all of those things in one day is a dream. Um, I love playing the piano. I really love um, reading books. I like hanging out with my dog. I like all sorts of things. Um, but I would say climbing, skydiving, running are my favorites. I just started doing yoga. Um, and that's fun. But just being outside. I like skiing, Nordic skiing and, and downhill skiing. I used to snowboard a ton, but I got a touring set up the last couple of years and I've just been kind of venturing that way um, and then yeah other than that I uh, I was just saying like earlier I haven't had a TV since I moved out of my folks place when I was like 15 or 16 years old but I have one now and I'm glued to Black Mirror if you guys haven't seen it don't watch it because it's weird and you'll try to figure it out and it'll screw up your dreams um, no just kidding you should watch it but um, favorite TV show I don't know if my favorite TV show is Black Mirror it's definitely what I'm watching right now it's what's hot right now. Um, and my favorite restaurants are probably Bud's in Salt Lake. That's like a vegan sandwich place. Um, I also really like Thai food and Indian food and tacos and margaritas <laughs> and beer and whiskey and wine. And okay. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking about when I would consider myself like, when did I consider myself a runner? And it's weird how it just kind of happens. Um, I don't remember running at all until about like about seven years ago um a friend of mine was like hey we should run like a self-supported marathon today and i'd never i don't remember ever really running before that so it was the middle of like december and i had bought a pair of speed cross um solomon speed cross and that was the first i'd ever heard of yak tracks and trail running and i think i had just read that born to run book and i was like yeah sure i can run a marathon um, and I remember at like mile 20 laying down and like stretching out my back and being like, oh God, I'm dying. And my legs felt like they were a thousand pounds each. But then after that, I just started running a ton. And then that same friend signed me up for my first race, which was a 50 miler out here on this beautiful island. Um, and I got it done. Like it wasn't pretty, it wasn't fast. And I had no idea I was wearing Nike Freeze, like road shoes um, with no socks. And I had like the little map my run on my phone. Like I didn't have a GPS watch. I didn't know what to do for water, like had no idea what I was doing. I was getting by on like gushers and fruit roll-ups, which I still do, but just no idea what I was doing. Um, but I finished and it was super fun. Um, and then I just started running a ton of ultras. Um, I'd run like a handful to a dozen a year. Um, and yeah, I just was suddenly like, this is what I, this is what I do. Um, I've run one road marathon. It was like the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> um, but mostly I run trails. I'd say like exclusively um, or you know yeah if I had my way I wouldn't run roads because I'm slow and then it's not acceptable on the road to be slow 
Um, but anywho, my proudest moments, I was thinking like there, I'm just, I have so many hobbies. Um, I think back to like, I used to be so shy that I would like hide behind my dad all the time. And I remember one time I played a piano recital um, without him sitting next to me. <laughs> And that was like, I was really proud of myself for being an adult at that point. I think I was like 11. Um, but then also uh, last summer I climbed the Grand Teton um, and I just barely climbed Castleton Tower and I was really proud of that. Um, and then of course, like when I finished my first hundred and the last 50 miler I ran that I finished um, was my fastest one yet. And so I have a couple of proud moments and they all seem to be, other than like my piano stuff, seem to be around like adventure sports and, and trail running. Um, but I feel when I physically like challenge myself, I feel the most accomplished. Um, and then struggles I've overcome, I feel like um, it's interesting. I kind of have had like, I haven't had like an easy upbringing by any means, but like I think I was, all of my challenges have been pretty overcomable <laughs> until last year. Um, and it's, it's interesting because I got into ultra running about seven years ago and I feel like it just made me a tougher person. So I would get something, you know, that may have, um, something in the past that may have like kind of derailed me for like a while or just really tripped me up would be nothing at all. Um, because you'd be like, well, I can run 100 miles. I can pay a parking ticket or whatever. Um, and so I started just like, kind of just seeing life as a little bit more digestible and a little bit more like doable, you know, as you do hard things, you know you can do hard things. Um, but then last year I had like quite a crappy year. Um, my boyfriend of like six years and I broke up and then I told him my car and then my dad died and I lost my job and it was just like one thing after another. And I think I kept tapping into like, I'd like lay in bed for 23 hours and then I'd be like, man, I gotta get up. I can do hard things, like I can get up, I, I know I can get through just about anything. Um, and it makes me think of like when you're running an ultra and your foot hurts so bad and maybe you're like, oh man, I think my foot's like broken. And then your pacer's like five minutes later, like, how's your foot? And you're like, oh, my foot doesn't hurt anymore, it's my knee now, <laughs> like my knee hurts. And like how that pain moves around, that's just kind of how life is now. And I never noticed that before because my life is sort of just like fun and easy and I never had many challenges. Um, but luckily I found those challenges in my own way and like presented like difficulties to myself through running and climbing um, because then when like those big doozies happened I think I could handle them a little bit more. Not saying I handled them very well um, but I was able to sort of know that I have that strength inside me um, and so it's been it's been a hell of a year like a hell of a couple of like almost like I don't know it's, all, it's almost been two years since my dad died, or a year, sorry, a year since my dad died, and it's like, I didn't think I would be able to make that. I don't know, it just affected me like, um, way more than I thought it would have. Um, but I almost made it through a year, so I'm like, I'm excited. Um, I just tried to run my first ultra again since my dad died and dropped out. <laughs> I just wasn't there like mentally yet. Um, I put in all the miles, I was feeling really strong, but I just couldn't, fathom the idea of like running alone for nine hours because you just get like lost in your thoughts and some days are good and some days are bad and I just didn't just didn't have it in me um so this year I would really like to see if I can go out there and be like mentally and emotionally strong enough to finish an ultra um but it might just be something in the past for me for a while um because that's one thing that you can't really take shortcuts on or rush is like your emotional and mental well-being um, and there's that's one thing that will really kind of tug it out of you is like being alone in the wilderness um, you can only control your thoughts for so long and then they kind of come back to you and it's beautiful like the first 20 miles I ran with that 50 miler um, we were kind of back and forth it would have been the first ultra I finished without my dad at the finish line and I think I just let myself think of that too much um, and then it just got the best of me. But it's getting to the point now where I like remember the good things and it's beautiful. And I'm just lucky that I had such a cool dad. <laughs> um, but so this year I have a couple climbing goals. I've already knocked a couple off my list. Um, I just climbed Castleton Tower. That's been on my list for like six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. I've looked up at it from the valley floor like for years and just thought, man, I'd love to stand up there. And I stood up there and it was awesome. And I was like, cool, next. 
Um, but there's a pretty cool rock in the Cirque of the Towers in the Wind Rivers range called Pingora. And then this whole like wolf's head area, I'd like to climb all of that, but I'd love to stand on top of Pingora soon. And then uh, Lone Peak in Salt Lake, I'd like to climb the face of that um, instead of just running up to the summit because it's a whole different experience. Um, and I have a few others. I, I want to do Gannett Peak. That doesn't require like climbing, but I'd like to run out to that. So Tall's Peak in Wyoming. Um, and just a couple other things. I mean, I'd love to run 100 miles again someday, um, but I don't think that's going to happen this year. But um, soon, 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 soon. Um, and then I just really want to look good in a bikini this summer. <laughs> I'm like 35 and I've never looked good in a bikini. That's my personal goal. <laughs> bikini season. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>